extra pale skin courtesy of Photoshop. Um, first thing is I'm going to make this image black and white by asking for a black and white adjustment layer. And I'm going to set it to screen, which means that I'm basically taking a copy of a black and white image and screening it on the original without incurring additional memory footprint. So there's that right away. You have that. And if you turn the opacity down, you can see that um, there's a place in there where you can really get a quite a good pale skin effect. One of the good things about this effect is that the dark areas, like the pupils of the eyes, stay dark and the hair, things like that. So it doesn't wash out the entire frame. It just washes out the already high areas. The other thing is that because it's a black and white adjustment layer, you can adjust red like this or yellow, which has an effect there, or green. You can see it in the makeup frosting that's on our forehead, especially. Um, cyan, somewhat in her eyes and in the frosting again, blue in the frosting and on her dress way down at the bottom of the frame, and magenta, which in this case is affecting her fingernails and to some extent her makeup. So um, that gives you some additional degree of control. I'm going to throw this away now and we're back to our original. Now another thing that we can do is go to channels and then hold down control and um, select the, I used the red channel and I selected the red channel and then we can just go to a black and white adjustment layer now and um, you know we can try that now we can adjust it has a kind of a different look to it so what we're doing is we're literally turning the high end of the photograph white and we are leaving the low end alone which has an interesting look to it because um, it preserves to some extent saturation at the low end which I kind of like you see her hair stay saturated and things like that um, Another thing, just while we're at it, is that when you're selecting things, I'm right now I'm holding Control on a PC. If you go Control Alt Shift and click again, you see it's a smaller region. Click again, smaller region. Click again, smaller region. So you're selecting a selection of a selection, if you want to think of it that way. And if we go to the uh, black and white adjustment layer again. Um, you know, we've, we've restricted the effect to a much smaller effect thanks to the way in which we created the luminosity mask.